All right, so we're looking at Knowledge Check 16.5.1. We're going to go ahead and load our libraries, which is going to include Complete Journey, Dplyr, and the Lubridate package. And the first objective here is get the day of the week that you were born on. All right, so a handy function is this weekday. And this will um, basically provide some um, date string. It will identify what day of the week that particular day was on. So I can go ahead and pass this my birthday, which was 1980. And I was born in August, which is 0824. Now, when I run this, basically, I just get the uh, numeric value um, for the day of the week. If I want to go ahead and get the actual label, I could say label equals true. And now it shows I get Sunday. And we could even go as far to say, let's see, if we look at the um, parameters here, we have this abbreviated, which equals true. And that's why we have just three letters there. If I wanted to not have it be abbreviated, I could say false. And now I see Sunday. Okay, let's look at number two here. Using transaction sample, compute the total sales by the day of the week. Which day produces the largest sale? Which day produces the smallest sales? Okay, so we are using the transactions sample data from the complete journey. And if we go all the way over here, we see we have this transaction timestamp. So what we need to do is compute the total sales by the day of the week. So we need to extract the day of the week out. And then we want to basically group our data by that variable and get the total sales value. Now we can actually do this um, in an abbreviated form. We can say I want to group by, and what I want to group by is the day. Um, let's say day of week. But I haven't, I don't have that variable in this data set. Um, but we can create it by using the weekday, day of the week. Um, and that is going to be, I'm going to apply that function to, oops, let's see, what is the name of this? Transaction timestamp. Transaction timestamp. So I want to apply it to this variable here. And I, I, I'd want to go ahead and get the label. I don't want to have just a number. Okay. And then now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and summarize total sales equals uh, sum of sales value. All right, so when I do that, you can see what happens is we're gonna group by and we create this data on the fly. Um, so behind, um, behind the hood, what is actually happening here, this is the same thing as if I were to go ahead and do this. Mutate, create this variable, and then group by day of week. All right. So if I run this, I get the exact same results. Um, but however, we can eliminate this whole step here and just create that variable information directly within the group by function call. Okay. So now. We can either visually look at this or we can go ahead and do a range. And I want to do descending order, total sales. And we see that Sunday typically generates the most sales and Wednesday is the date or the day of the week that has the lowest amount of sales.